All right, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, auto layout and get into more advanced stuff today. Um, so auto layout is great because it lets you control not only the spacing, but how elements fill a container and how they react to the size of that container and how that container can react to the size of the elements. Um, so we've got an example here where we want to create maybe this sort of side by side section. So right now we've got all our elements. They're all just independent nothing's contained yet so that's that's fine and we're going to go through and i'm going to show you how auto layout can kind of you know make this a lot cleaner and make it a lot easier to control um so i always wrap almost everything uh unless it's got some crazy positioning or it's fine being static i put almost everything in an auto layout because it's just better um so to do that you want to actually start um, with granular so I do it by looking at the spacing and that's kind of how I determine what goes into a container is spacing and orientation so here my subheading and my text has a different spacing than my heading and my buttons so I'll start there I'll click these two shift a auto layout I'll just rename that to subhead and text next these buttons they're, so these have a different orientation. Everything here is vertical. These are horizontal. So I'm going to grab those. And I'm going to put them in an auto layout as well. All those buttons. And then my heading and my buttons have the same spacing between these guys. So let's grab those. Shift A. Auto layout. We'll just call this content. So now you can see over here I've got content which contains my heading. I've got an auto layout which contains my subheading and my text and then I've got an auto layout that contains my buttons. So now on my content I can choose you know how my spacing here works um, as well as adjust go into this one and adjust my spacing here. And obviously if you want this heading to have different spacing than these two then you would take your subheading and your buttons and wrap that in an auto layout as well to adjust the spacing there. I'm not going to do that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to make sure my heading here, I'm going to set it to fill. I'm going to set my subheading container to fill. And then I'm going to select the items in and I'm going to hit fill as well. And the reason I'm going to do that, and I'm going to pick my buttons and hit fill. So now as I adjust this container, everything kind of moves with me. So the next thing I'm going to do is I've got these elements. So I'm going to select these guys. Now I don't have anything because they're kind of overlapping. I'm just going to put them in a frame, call it image. And then I'm going to take my image and my heading because they're side by side. And I'm going to shift A and put those in an auto layout. So here I've centered it to the left. Um, it's going horizontal. You can see the auto layout icons here tell you that this is horizontal versus this is vertical. Left aligned, center aligned. It's kind of cool. Um, so now that I've got that, I'm actually going to take this one and I'm going to say fill container. So what that does is now as I stretch this my text changes and my image stays the same so that's good but before we'll just call this side by side we had these overlapping so the cool thing you can do is you can go to your spacing you can actually have negative spacing so i'm going to bring those back to about 35. so now i've got negative spacing but it's still within this auto layout that's going to respond based on how i shape my container which is pretty cool so if you hit shift o you can see an outline view so you can see i've got a contain my overall container i've got a container here and then i've got a content container one for my i've got my heading I've got a container for my text container for my buttons and the nice thing about this is 
now I can kind of start doing things without having to you know mess around with pixels. Like I can change my spacing, I can change you know padding if I want to. Um, I can you know for these guys if I do want more padding, I can always add it to my button container here. And that gives it just a little extra. Maybe we'll do that just for fun. Uh, and then I for this one, like you can go in here and now you can set these guys both to fill. And now you've got big buttons. So with everything as an auto layout, you've got a lot of control and a lot of consistency with how things work. So for example, if you add more text, our container just grows. I mean that's too much, but you get the idea. It's kind of cool. Everything works the same. Uh, another interesting thing, I'll just go on a tangent here real quick, is that you can, with a negative spacing, so say you had an image and then you had, you know, a card. Right, and you wanted it to kind of come over top, you can do the same thing. So set that as an auto layout and then reduce your spacing until you get what you want, which is a kind of a cool feature because then it lets you say, you know, grow this, you set that to fill, now you've got a container that grows your card. I mean, you can set this to fill too. Right, and you can actually set your padding here. So this is kind of cool. If you've got a fixed width, your padding will adjust with any fluid elements, but a fixed width element won't respond to your padding. So this is good if you've got like big headers on a website that you want to go full screen, but you want the rest of the content to be within a container. You set those to fixed, make sure you're auto layouts in the center and then you can adjust your padding and you get a content container kind of in the middle uh, and those those will go full screen which is kind of kind of sweet um, the other thing is you can make these so if you duplicate this I've got these set to fill right but what I could do is set these that's the width, fixed height, set my overall container to hug, so now it adjusts with the amount of content that's in it, and I can create a card stack. And because the spacing is between these two elements, you would just, you could select these, can not a layout, reduce that right up. And look at that, you've got a stack of cards. So now you're stacking your auto layout elements, um, which is kind of cool. And that lets you adjust spacing between you know, your stack of cards and then your overall, overall container. So there's lots of cool stuff you can do with auto layout. Um, yeah, I mean, ideally if you're making a page with this, you know, you would duplicate this. I don't know why I'm way over there. Right, you put these two. The nice thing is you don't have to be precise when laying your stuff out. Auto layout will do that. So if you just like, like oh, I want those, grab them, wrap them in an auto layout, everything is adjusted. And then you can grab this guy, grab your frame, hit the arrow button. Now it's on the right. But you'll notice that, the, that it's now no longer, it's in front of the text. So if you just select your frame, there's a feature over here called canvas stacking. And it shows you here that's last on top. We actually want to go first on top. You can see how it switches to that one. And now our text is there. So it kind of makes it, you know, pretty easy to build, um, you know, a, a page. Like if this was a page, let's say this was a page. So let's add fill. Add some padding to it. Right, so now you've got 
a web page. And you can arrow down through your to move elements through your auto layout. So now you're just building a page. You don't have to adjust your your page height or anything. It's all built with auto layout. Uh, the other cool thing about this is if you wanted to switch this, maybe do a mobile view or vertical, because you know I said I, I base it on spacing and orientation. So this is this side by side here is based on orientation. So there's only two elements: the content and the image. You can hit the down arrow, set it to center, and now I've got a vertical stack. So when making elements that go from desktop to mobile, auto layout can be very helpful because all you're doing is changing the orientation of your stack. Um, and, and you can have frames within these too, right? So I mean, like if you took we want to do what we did over here, you know, I'm not going to add the best background for this, but you'd add a, you add a background, start adding padding. You don't have to add background shapes or anything. You're just adjusting your frame, which is really nice. So now all of a sudden I've got basically what we did uh, over on the other side. But it was really easy to do, so you, you could even do it here, right? And start start creating things that way. So it makes it really easy to design in auto layout because all your spacing, your padding is controlled, and everything just kind of kind of works the way it should. So there you have it. There's some advanced auto layout stuff for you. Uh, hopefully it was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've got any tips or tricks. Subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.